Annyeong Haseo, Chonin, Rocky Lee, Emnida. Annyeong Haseo, Chonin, Direct Emnida. We're here for Shop for Killers. Uh, last episode really heated up. I was actually noting that this was a 45 minute episode before we started. So I was like, I think it's just going to be full momentum type of thing and a, a series of escalations uh, with these assassins. That part. With maybe like 20 minute flashbacks to sh explain how we got here. Action, or, action, action, how we got here. Or even to explain, you know, I think I think they've done a good job of subtly laying out. Like when we see her just doing some shit, why she has that ability or why it's plausible that she can do this right here, right now. And uh, that, that's the big credit I'll give them right now. Uh, like you were saying last episode, they did a good job with the flashback, child actor, setting the story, setting the scene, a little suspicion here, a little bit of information dumped there. Now you can't look at everybody who comes here as the enemy, because some people might actually be trying to fulfill the, uh, the agreement and some people are just not because they're like, well, it's time. Like, you know, there's, there's a lot to be gained from just going against this person. So I, I can imagine, it'll be interesting to see the different factions that are coming out. Like friends, we're looking at the Chinese too, they're kind of funny, go figure. But I'll never forget, in somewhere in the episode one, she is in the house and she also looks like she's under siege, however. But I feel like that was her drones who even busted the windows down. So now I'm just like, I'm like, well, whose side are you on? Maybe you are, you are here to protect, but I don't know. So it'll be it, interesting to it, see. It's interesting. I see we never voice that out loud. The way I interpreted her scene when it first happened mm -hmm. was these drones were coming. She got her gun to shoot down said drones. She never did, obviously, because we saw the drones. But I always, when I first looked at it, thought that her and the drones were separate. And she was going to shoot these drones before they got in the way of her mission. And the drones are just here. <coughs> so I, I expect her, that was it. She's just ready. So she should start helping us shoot down some drones, hopefully. We'll but, see. Yeah. It just shows how two people can see the same scene and have a, have, a, have different thought processes. Mm. I also wanted to say one thing I like. I also like about the flashbacks again and how, um, you know, we're not going to be surprised when we see her being capable. The flashbacks tend to focus on the story and what you need for emotional and character development. Mm. So far, the tr to let you know she's capable, that's like a five second scene. The, the episode one, conversation on the couch. Um, is what motivated her to push the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, in episode two, it was, do you, do you know how to use a gun? Really quick to let you know that she's capable, but we're not gonna show you a training montage. And even showing her as a child, her her general nature, she sensed danger and she's getting away from it. Yes. Like that kid was out the window hanging from the balcony, or now back, hanging from a, from a bar. It's like, most kids would not do that, but that is her natural state to do something of that nature. So it's like, it's like okay, that makes sense. Yeah, as a child, she was very, very, very capable. High survivor uh, habits, good reading skills. Nah, she, yeah, that's all coming oh, back. Also, uh, I would, and this is people, I'm like, really, you got that from that scene? I think she was advanced for her age because in the moment where he steals her food, she sees him steal it. She's like, oh yeah? She waits, she waits. He goes for one, she snatches that one and eats it, looks him dead in the eyes. Like, yeah, you're not getting another Checkmate. one over him. Checkmate yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was yeah. like, you- Please go for sure. Yeah, sure, facts. Yeah, Me too. Hey, I've been on my lessons. That shit's hard. It's hard. But yeah. That is a, I think that's a fantastic observation because I was already thinking she was for the reading. Off camera, I had made a, uh, a comment like, it may actually be normal over there because our kids don't have good reading skills in our country anymore. <laughs> so it actually may have been just normal for her, but I just respected it as that that she just had good skills. There's little, there's little moments that they just put in there and it's just like, this is her nature. No matter what you see of her as an adult, remember who she was as a kid and the uh, elect the selections of moments of what she's done and what she, and what her base form character. She beat her bully with the chair, man. Yo, with the chair. And guess what? Full circle, the chair came back. Yeah, no, she she's great. I like her. <laughs> Let's jump into the reaction. Who's your reactor? The way he speaks Korean is different than how I, 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 where he's from, it might be different. There. 
What happened? I think you're dead on. I think they said somebody in the back was speaking Thai. He might be like Thai Korean. Yeah, I'm not getting no Korean beef. Yeah, they did say it like that. <sighs> the subtitles even say in Korean? Yeah. Interesting. You're right, I never heard that dialect. He talks very differently. I really hope we're right, because that would show growth for us. I really hope we were right. <laughs> no, nah, the first thing I noticed is like, I like how you talked. It's very, it's very smooth and sweet, and it didn't fit in Korean I've heard before either. Mm -hmm. Now they're gonna show us why she's a survivalist. <laughs> Did he get hurt going up this no, mountain? It looks no. like he's the one who got hurt. Yeah, man, them knees, man. Cause right now they have no signal in the present. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say cause, but they have no signal in the present. Mm -hmm. And with your commentary, we can see how she's a survivalist. <laughs> oh, he's dying, bro. <laughs> She has no sympathy for him. He said information response? Inflammation response. Oh. Have to. <laughs> what a bar. What a hate your relationship. <laughs> nope, they're explaining why she knows a slingshot. Why does he even have a slingshot? Oh, actually, this makes sense. Took out a Baratheon. Take it. Some things you can't run away from. Like he the boogeyman or he Beetlejuice? Is he protecting to be hurt? You know, to test her? <laughs> Uh, Yo, right when you asked. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Uh, he made it. He made this sound believable. Now, I think this is just a test to see that she'll survive. It's Piccolo and Gohan. I always wanted a same shot when I was a kid. Hmm. Mm? I had one. I kept hunting myself on it. He's using the phone? Oh. I knew it. I knew it. <gasps> He's high as fuck! Mm. I told you, bro! <sighs> Would he fake his death, too? He just wanted to go to the cave part by himself? Yeah, he got high as hell. Knew what getting high was gonna do, sent her away, and then went where he already knew the stuff was. This is insane. So he's probably got a sniper position for the boar, or is he doing a different mission? I don't know anymore. It's hard to tell this guy. Right, because like, he couldn't be doing like an assassination mission while on a field trip with her. Oh my god, and she has to decide for herself. S O S. She here. She here. What is she? She don't leave the door open. Brother, oh, she I lied. I was so wrong. Whoa. Oh, she saw the arm. No, she saw that. She imagined it. So this is not real? Dogs? She imagined hyenas. She left the door open. She sees a wolf as the hyena? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh, 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 these are trained dogs. Yo, he really trolled her. Holding a weak bark. Ah, this is Piccolo and Gohan. What's she gonna tell her? I gotta hear the explanation. 
He never. She never called his name. You see drugs on his face. Oh, he's. That's how he's gonna do it. I thought it was obvious that he tricked. Okay. Oh, oh, never mind. Shut up. Nah, she's no fool. What? Thank you. She ate all those lies. Poor girl. Nah, she don't believe it. Look at her face. Yeah. Get him. And you knew how to fire it? Of course. I was supposed to give you a real gun. Oh, she might have had gun training by now. I thought he trained her. No, nah, that I don't know when that flash came. I know exactly the flash I you're thinking yeah. about. That's what I had said. I was like, mm. but she seems relatively older, so whatever. You're right. This is before she got the gun training. She really had her practice on the slim shot. Oh, that's just to let us know she go to slim mm -hmm. shot. Uh -huh. You're hitting your target, but it's not breaking. Bruh. You think she has to cock it back more, basically? I also back. think she's aiming for like the high part where it's strongest in the neck. And the more you pull back, the more you gotta stabilize it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, someone shot. Cheated. What? In fact, this is gonna be the scene. Mm hmm. <laughs> there it is. They showed that for like a half a second last time. Make it hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's teaching her like from foundation. Like the gun is never put together when she show up. Mm, mm, mm. Survivors go with guns. Smart. Can understand multiple languages. Knows how to use a chair. From the wrestling school of Eddie Guerrero. Oh, she's gonna use it as a shield. Okay, uh, Captain. Yeah. I like how this show be making sense, bro. She got the toolie? What she got? What she got? I'm not peeking, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they keep, they may not, it may not, even, wait, no, it's, it's a human controlling it. Dang! Oh, blood clot! <laughs> oh! I really thought she was gonna do it, bro. She never hit the bottles. In the flashback so far. <laughs> Yo, I mean, she hit the bottle, she that was, broke the bottles. That was literally David and Goliath <laughs> trying to hit it with the rock. This is the scene and they showed it in a different order, bro. Because mm -hmm. that's what we saw. Yeah. And that's why we had the different perception. But I saw it this way. The cell phones don't work. She's blocking everything. The drones probably stopped working. She put up a jammer, maybe, potentially. Now, oh, I, remember the that, already not I remember that is exactly the device that you saw before. And you thought she called the Oh, no. Yeah, they, they moved full back in time. And showed us a scene out of... Yeah, out of context. Yeah. Because now I'm expecting it to jam. She put the jammer, and that's why the cell phones don't work. Oh, no. Nah. Or maybe just wrong. We're going to see. No, that's how I remember it. <laughs> oh, is that a jammer gun? Oh. She don't have to hit it. Okay. So back to the intro talk, she might be the hero. Mm, at least on their side. Yep, she was in the house. Oh, yes. Honestly, after almost dying, this is nothing. He has a chip? Or am I tripping? He, it read him or did it not read him? Probably nothing there. Oh, well. Truth serum? Oh, out serum. Nice. Hit him with that jello. Got the Thule out. Look at the odds. It's like David versus Glizzy. <laughs> ah! Oh, she dodged it. I thought she was gonna lose one of her precious hot. Oh. oh, she did hit her a little bit. Levels to it, Against girl. most people, you've been super effective, girl. Green. There it is. Oh, he doesn't know what the person would look like. I just... Sniper, that's what I was waiting for. Now we're at episode one scene. Beep! She saved the hell out of her, bro! Spartan kicked her up! Now you gotta think like your uncle, girl. Yeah. Wow, okay. 
This is where we started. This yep. is exactly where we started. All the players are where they belong. Yeah, interesting pacing. <laughs> Very much so. The Mr. Rex. <laughs> nah, keep it away from me, poop fingers. I'm not gonna forget he was taking a dump before he left. Oh, you <laughs> saw him? Look at him. Doodle fingers. <laughs> That's why you don't hit no shots after this. <laughs> Poor guy's gonna wake up. That's why he's out, bro. Like, he's out. Yeah, next time we see him, he's in a corner. Like, what's going on? Whenever she says her brother's name three times? Uncle, yes. Uncle, Uncle, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo, her oh, uncle, wait, her uncle had a whole say? organization ready to move whenever she says his name three times? Yes. And I've also learned that they really do live somewhere near a, a base with live action firing. <laughs> He says someone must have pulled some strings. He was throwing away your life or something cheap. So when he was showing her the gun stuff, that alert was always calling, also going off. So it's not them. There's actually a base by them. By the way, I know there's a base next to them. <laughs> I just didn't believe it. <laughs> Shit. Up, can't see. Sniper. Barrel, Fox. <laughs> He's so on oh, these drones. Another drone. Well, just get and just blow it away. Yeah. Just by existing. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they got propellers. <laughs> oh, good way to smoke a map. All I needed to do was get this part. Oh, sniper got her. Later. She shot too early. Oh my god. How is this lady always dodging stuff? A lot of guns on the floor. Oh, we're right back to here before she pushes the refrigerator. That is why. That's why there's a gun on the floor. With the smoke. Oh, this is exactly the scene. He said, like, damn it. Oh. Pay me more for risk. You're better off not clearing the smoke. So it's your operation you roped a bunch of people into it. But why? Is this greed? Revenge? Did he do you dirt? Everyone's all about money. Again, what do you want to do here? Certainly not money. Dad's like, it's your thigh. It all makes sense, bro. It does make sense. Class says, code's red and purple. Oh, she's a spy! Oh! I only remember uh, purple. Red means regular killer, purple means spy. Oh, yellow's cleanup. I do know more. <laughs> you doubted yourself. There's oh, only that's one weird. more. Yeah. <laughs> it's calling to her like the goblin mask. Come get me. Come get me, Gian. This is crazy, bro. Oh, this poor girl. Rabbit hunt. It looks so. Kind of thug, and I was gonna say, this dude walks out. <laughs> I hate that. I like him though. Who doodle hands? Yeah, I wouldn't eat from doodle hands, but he seems fun, good company. He does. He's if not you allowed to grill the meat. Trip, you want him with you? Yes, but he's not allowed to grill the meat. Yes. <laughs> See, he calls her like the goblin mask boy. Remember that pep uh, pep talk? She didn't put him out for long enough. Check it out. Solve the problem. Dial it in. Here we go. 
has been preparing you for this. Now we have enough of the piece to know she's capable. There's one thing he got in this house, it's tape. Tape and rope and hoses. All the pieces are out. And now she's watching. And now she's like, okay, she's a smart girl. Now you can even understand their mindsets better. Mm -hmm. He sure put it together. I've been scared he was gonna aim for my hand. You're so right. I started thinking the, the, the military base doesn't shoot all the time, but they're shooting today to cover this. To cover this up. That's why he said it called in a favor. Yes, I knew he's like they pulled some strings. I just couldn't. I couldn't took. I, I couldn't really think at that moment. I heard you even talking during that. I was like, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. They're gonna blend right in. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know whose side the, the, this would favor would help. It's not helping us. No. No grip, bro. I'll she never accept it. She has those hospital socks. She must have it. One of them Sky Zone socks. Mm. That's crazy. Damn, almost lost her heel too, poor thing. They put this music because we knew it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it was more stressful on episode one. Does she have gun training? Oh no, maybe. I say no, she never cleaned. You ever killed a man before? I like the aesthetic, but I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and not drool. Yeah, that's a high caliber optic scope, my god. Heavy. Shook, do you think 21? I love the escalation. Even adding additional details, he is not ready for it. Did the scope that out all the way? Am I tripping? Sheila! <laughs> if the other girl had did it, it probably would have been over. That sent her flying. See, that's why you should let her shoot the first time. Now they know they got it. I took a bullet for you, girl. The contract has been made. Hey, she wants to! Know! Hey, the for his own good, of course. Oh, that is his shoddy. We heard the same thing. Is there a shadow? Oh, oh my shit! God! Yes, there is. Oh, they're here. The impatient always die first. Remember we told him to stay? Never mind. Revoke. Get you. Not everything's about money, fam. They do not want to smoke with her. Oh, uh, uh. uh. Worthy questions. He went to the north as a spy? We gotta go, girl! You gotta make a call I'm fast. By now I'm trusting her. Cause I had no choice, but I get it. I get it, I get it. She's already displayed multiple times. She could have also killed me. Yes. Oh, he already moved the van. Okay, it just takes one little opening. Eh? Eh? Oh, a little bit, <gasps> shoulder? Oh, too much, my boy. Oh, it's like that. Yes. He just has to knock the force down. They figured out the entrance. He's out the game, bro? He's in shock? Oh, her head is out. My God. Head and cheeks. Oh, no. Someone will end up like Martin. Oh, oh, while he's focused uh, on that. I hope he dies. Long. I hope he dies. Please die. I hope he dies. Girl, get him. Oh, oh. the driver. Doodoo -doo hands dead. Damn. I wonder if she missed, but OK. Oh. If it seemed like a ricochet, I think so. <laughs> he was, I see why this matters. Close, no one closes doors? You thinking the same thing I'm talking about or bring in the door? Bring it and close it. Bring it and close it. Damn! Oh, thank God. Oh, that's probably a good reason not to close the door. I'm being silly. She's nice. Now that I know she's a good person, I actually sort of, I'm warming up to her. It matter if she was good or bad to you? 
I did actually. I have values. Oh, now he has values. <laughs> what he tell you to remember, girl? ID, girl, student ID, student ID. I was guessing account number, it's for this. Student ID. Oh my God. Damn, girl. One number. I know she's gonna figure it out. This is stressing me out. I still know my student ID numbers. It's actually a really good password. I feel like normal people wouldn't have thought of it. Never would. Face. Go, girl. We gotta move. We gotta move. I don't know what's gonna be here. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, you don't do anything. It just moves. Oh. So that lady just a stuck. Whole fake. That's the best kind of elevator. It moves and you don't know it moves because it looks exactly the same. Hosing oh, equipment. <laughs> The <laughs> uncle like hoes. That's not this way. I know it's a viable business, but uh, they're for people, but it's still so random, you know? That's why it's funny. We saw hoes and hoes accessories. Color coded. Because only certain people can buy even certain things, too. Oh, that's now she has an armory that's going to help. She even try to defend herself. Among a few things. Wow. Jeez. This man could arm a small nation. I love the music choice. A good blend of wonder and mystery. Yeah. And that, that, there's a chord that hits. The synth? Yeah, bruh. Wait, who the hell is this? If he's here, he must work here now. <laughs> Not her dad, right? No, surely not. <laughs> a I'm shop brother. for killers. Yeah. It's a shop. For killers. Were Probably you this murder old? help. Were you this old? Hmm? Were you this old? Mm -hmm. You already do this? I was born yesterday, bro. Oh, okay. Once I saw another killer here, I saw how casual it was. <laughs> and where we are. And I'm like, oh, it's a literal shop for killers. Not a digital, not figurative. See, it's what up. She wasn't even concerned. That's why she started to become more attractive. It's little things. Like you see how her personality is showing? It's it's a hope, it's everything, bro. I'm pretty sure she cleared this room. She did. This is who they brought. She's like, it's that's everything. it? And this is how they're moving? They don't even work together. I'm gonna take them out one by one. That'll be easy. Like work. No one, no one that she's fighting on the uh, protagonist side, no one that she was loyal to the homie. Then seeing her face expressions, or whatever, it's a complete package. I'm like, oh, I can, I like her. I like Too her. Late. She's mine. Oh, uh, okay. Anyways, um, good episode, man. Good, good, good episode. The use of time and getting everything to finally fit together was a very interesting direction because they didn't just tell like a linear story or like one background story. They jumped in the past and maybe like two or three times in different spots of it and then put together things from different time periods right here into this episode. Chronologically showed you things out of order. Yes. But at the same time, kept key components, the gun being there, realizing he's on the floor in the background and he just gets up randomly like, but when did you go from here to there? Yes. And like, when did she go from having, I thought she was like, I, I saw her thigh earlier, but she's completely covered right now. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, uh, you take gun training when they were gonna use that because like we we're like yo I thought she already took gun training and as we were talking about when she would have gotten it is right there yo uh, the drones and the slave trying to figure out which side she was on mm -hmm. because of the timing of the, them using scenes I think she did like the same face expression she made here uh, at the very end when the chump change started walking in she made this little face uh, and that is probably also represented by her being an S class right mm -hmm. on top of everything like many of you guys are below her in terms of her skill level and everything and that's all i have yeah and it's a literal shop for killers bro murder help yeah you need help with that i it's simple as that it's, i think it's straightforward now they really want to kill this girl i still want to know to, to what end to 
sweating, my boy. Do you just want this equipment or you really need her out? Because he said everybody's concerned about money and it's like, he's like, nah, it's not always it's about, not about money. money. It's like, so what, so what, what is driving you to do this? Going against the guest, the person who's running this is gone, but you know you're still contractually obligated to protect the green, but here you are going directly against that and you and you're not like you're like it's not about the money then what what did he do to you what did he take from you potentially did you oh shot in the dark shot in the dark he broke the rules of the shop and got excommunicated now he's like oh well i'm coming back to get what's mine i can see that being a very easy motivation a very easy motivation you broke the rule you got kicked out and you was mad about it because you couldn't get the things you needed to do your job you lost income now you're pissed off about it now you're in a deficit because you couldn't get the jobs you wanted or you lost access to the clientele so now you would want to come get all this shit for yourself or come get the money random shot in the dark but i'm like i'm like there has to be something more. if it's not money something has to motivate you you know revenge is usually a good one it can still kind of be money in the sense where this is supposed to be mine anyways mm. and now i'm just coming to take it mm. everyone's like yeah technically it involves money but it's not money it's this is just all mine i don't want to say the principle because that's not really the right word but this is mine bro everyone's talking about the money ah but you're about the money too yeah. no no just this in is a different way mine. just in a different way yeah or like you got excluded from clientele because you lost access to the shop or something to that matter or people start looking down on you because like, oh you don't yes. get yourself murder help uh, we kind of we kind of don't trust your the products from anywhere but murder help because you know the pit the vins are the the serial numbers are scratched off all the guns over there so we know it's gonna be a clean turnaround uh you're using some random person uh, i don't know we want to work with you it could be money in respect to power it's always one of those three it's always one of those three money respect power but the last one's most important power I'm glad you went through it. <laughs> I did have to do. That's how you know I was, li I was listening. All right, man. Thanks for watching our video. We post this stuff early on our Patreon. We got exclusives there. <coughs> if y'all are interested, click on the schedule in the description of this video. Until next time, Rock D. Lee. Rock the Nasty. Out. And you know I couldn't stop at just one channel. Consider subscribing to the subsidiary channels for your boy Rock Lee found in the description of this video. Thank you.